Hey, good morning, and welcome to the ZP um, podcast um, blog vlog. Um, we do this every th- um, Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, UK time. Um, good morning, Saran. Saran has just joined us um, online. So we do a look back at the news from ZP for this week, and it's nice that um, Saran has come online and joined us because then I can give him a quick update on the news for ZP for this week. So as you know, we do it every um, Sunday, and today is no exception. So just a um, little bit of sort of summary to start with. It'll, it'll be very Swansea centric this week um, because we've opened up a new um, office um, actually in Swansea. So what I might do. So just just checking that the volume is actually coming through. Okay, right. So uh, just a little bit of news. Um, we ended up doing a little bit of um, light sponsorship um, at a team in um, the University of Rochester which I think is in um, upstate New York. The team had contacted us. They were doing a, I think a sort of national competition um, with regards to um, looking at um, sepsis using screen printed electrodes. So they'd reached out to us um, and we'd responded and we gave them a little bit of sponsorship and they were very sweet and they actually um, made some t-shirts up and they put the ZP um, logo onto those t-shirts so it's quite nice because we're, we're happy to help academic research I just want to say good morning to Aftab who's also joined us and Aftab I look forward to meeting you tomorrow in a meeting but if universities um, connect us contact us and they're sort of happy to allow us to be included in their research in some way and you know that we can promote that research which the university uh, of rochester the guys did that it was very sweet of them then we're quite happy to support them um, they wrote a nice little um sort of note for us to sort of thank us for our sponsorship and we were happy to do it so congratulations to the university of rochester because they made us um a sepsis sensor on top of one of our hyper value carbon um screen printed electrodes and in fact they won gold I suspect they won gold because they're good scientists, but you know, I'd like to think it's maybe the screen printed electro, but no, I, I'm sure they're a very good team. So congratulations to those guys and thank you for sending the photos and thank you for you know, essentially using our screen printed um, carbon electrode in the work. Um, there was also a, a little bit of news from our sister company, um, Madalex. Um, so Madalex is um, run by an entrepreneur, um, who lives in Grenoble and when you look at their logo you'll notice that they're essentially powered by ZP so they are part of the sort of ZP group Um, and in this um, blog that they put on their website um, I know it's in French but they basically talk about a collaboration um, that they have now running in Grenoble and there they're working on a calibration free um, glucose sensor I've personally had a, I've had a look at the ideas and the technology behind this, and it stands a really good chance of being, uh, it does stand a great chance of being calibration free. So anything that's to do with CGM, i.e. continuous glucose monitoring, it is, you know, a fairly tough road. So, you know, there's going to be some years of research going on here, but i um, really happy for Madalex who um, sought the funding, wrote the reports, worked very closely with the academics in Grenoble and then they were successful in actually receiving some um, government sponsorship to do this work so um, really good um, really congratulations to them so that'll be a cool technology coming out of France in the next few years um, we put up quite a few pictures this week of um, Swansea so we have opened up a satellite office in Swansea um, um, what's happening in Swansea is, you know, we've, as I say, we've opened up this satellite office. I really like to do this kind of concept quite globally, including place, you know, including maybe doing some satellite offices in some countries like um, India. I don't want to get, you know, too ahead of ourselves at the moment, but um, you can see that we're um, quite happy and excited by the idea that, you know, um, we want strong collaborations with the universities. We like to, we like, we have a bit of a roadmap when working with universities. We like to do sort of, you know, a 
undergraduate project first, then maybe a master's project, and then start getting into PhDs. Everyone wants you straight into a PhD with them, but of course PhDs, you know, it's a three-year commitment, and you have to kind of make sure that the relationship is, you know, strong um, before you really do that. Um, so if you're following on the vlog, you'll see some quite nice um, images um, out of the um, window um, at the um, university. So we had a sort of formal opening of this um, um, of this new facility, um, and so I'll just um, share a few images of that. So we we did have a we, we did have a nice kind of um, opening of that. We took some pictures of ourselves um, in the office. So at, in the office, at least at any one time, there'll be two ZP guys, um, but we'll have other people hot desking through. Um, and also the Department of Chemistry second year students were invited along, um, and they came along and had a look around. You know, we'll um, hopefully we'll be able to offer some of them placements um, in the future. So it was nice to meet those um, guys um, around the um, at the Swansea office opening. So as I say, I like to do this. You know, at more universities, of course. You know you have to be able to afford to do this so you know we have to take it easy but um, it is a great way of you know linking and embedding with universities and then just finally um, we did do a webinar this week the webinar was really looking at um, wearables and I was actually saying look you know if you're doing R&D and wearables then we have a essentially a solution um, on our website that works well for the R&D phase um, but if you're really if you're doing product development that I would I, I'd suggest people using something called the easy flex but if they're really doing R&D still then I would actually suggest a um, a cable system involving something called the sense it smart and I was able to show that on our website um, as well so let me um, just do a quick summary of what we talked about. So every Sunday, 8 a.m., I appreciate Saran and Aftab are online this morning, so great guys. Um, we do a little summary of all our news, and I think our news for this week is um, a team in New York has been, new in, in New York State, has been successful in making a sepsis sensor on a hypervalued carbon electrode and won gold in an academic competition called iGEM, so congratulations to them. Um, our sister company Madalex in France has been successful in setting up a, um, a um, academic collaboration to make a self-calibrating CGM, so congratulations to Madalex. Um, we've put some new images up of our new office in Swansea um, because that's really going to be one of our satellites for um, helping us to interact with the University of um, Swansea. And then just lastly, as every Thursday, 8 a.m., we always do our ZP Developer Zone. So if you're interested in being a part of the ZP Developer Zone, um, you're welcome. And please come along at 8 a.m. London time every Thursday for our webinar. All right. So I will say thank you to the guys who are online today. And I will catch you all um, soon. Okay. Take care, guys. And I'll post this as a post it on YouTube. And we'll also put it as a podcast. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.